What's up guys? I'm Coots. And I'm Tank. And thank you for tuning in for another edition of This or That. Mobile phone oh, crap. <laughs> I, don't I do eat voices. He just voices. I uh, do voices. We're gonna do um Comedy classics. Yeah, comedy classics. Comedy classics. Eighties versus nineties. Yeah. And, Three uh, amigos versus uh Kingpin. Three Amigos versus Kingpin. Both I really enjoy. Who do you got for this? Uh, three Amigos for me. It's Three Amigos for me too. But here's the thing: this is that's this is a slapstick. Like, really think of it. It's a lot of gags, a lot of slapsticky stuff. Are you sure you're doing it? Yeah, I love I love Three Amigos. Really? Yeah, we were, that was played quite a bit as a kid. And honestly, Kingpin was not. I really didn't find Kingpin until the early or mid two thousands. Yeah. Um, and that's it? when I, oh yeah, for sure. I absolutely, I think Woody Harrelson's a great actor. I think he's often underrated and overlooked uh, as an actor. And Bill Murray is obviously Bill Murray, a, a great, and, and great. Yeah, he's, 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 he's another Robin Williams type thing. He can, he can become yeah. funny. He can be, he can actually seriously act. Like the, it was just gross. It was more, gro I found it more gross than Three Amigos for sure. Kingpin, in my opinion, is more adult of a comedy, the yeah. Three Amigos. Three Amigos is the kids thing. But honestly, I haven't seen Three Amigos in at least twenty years. I've really? definitely seen. Three uh, I picked it up. I picked it up. Oh, you know, on me in my collection of DVDs. But I grabbed oh, it for about a year or two ago. Yeah. And uh, found it for like three or four bucks in like yeah. the Walmart. That Walmart yeah, yeah. Trap oh, bin. the danger bin. As yeah, I the, the cheap bin or whatever. And I found it and was like, I rewatched it. I'm like, this is still fantastic. Three Amigos is it? Um, it's it's a lot of slapstick, a lot of goofy gags. But the stuff the cast realized that like Mark Short is so good. Chevy, Chevy Chase, Chase is great. Chevy Chase is great. Yeah, I wish he was able to play well with others yeah, a little better. He's going to be a prick in everything. Like, literally everyone that's ever worked with him despises Chevy Chase. Yeah, he's no. He's a bully. A mess. Yeah, I get. Everyone says he's a bully. Like everyone find he he's got this habit of finding the thing that upsets you, and then he just pokes at that. Yeah, like even if he knows it's upsetting you, he'll do it on purpose. And it, literally everyone, apparently everyone that's ever worked with Chevy, Chevy Chase, yeah. really from movies and TV shows. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Since the whole cast alive, the community, yeah. I guess, doesn't like him, and that's that's that he was not in the last like two or three seasons of yeah. the Community for that reason because he was a prima donna and a jerk to everybody in that cast. Um, obviously, the 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 famous stories from Saturday Night Live where he left, where he was like, "I'm better than all of you," like literally stood up in front of. Many of the greats of comedy of all time, and was like, "I'm the best of you, and you don't deserve to have me here." And and like, and they were all like, "Oh, oh shit, yeah, okay then." Yeah. And he was, he was only on SNL for the first year, I think. Yeah, first year, a year or two. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then he was like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm a star. I'm going to do all this myself and go off on my own." I, I, it, to the best of my knowledge, though I haven't actually asked either one of them. I don't think. Martin Short or Steve Martin likes Chevy Chase because of the Three Amigos. Like, I'm pretty sure the cast of the National Lampoon series doesn't like him because he, I mean, well, no, it's the, no, it's the, the list goes on and on. Different than every film, and either age because they're aging or they can't stand. It's him, a shame for two reasons. He's a phenomenal actor, right? And he's hilarious, right? I would have loved to have seen what roles he could have gotten if he could, in any way, interact with other yeah. people in Hollywood. But he was such an asshole. They had to. Isolate him and do his own things, and that's why his career went the way it did. Like Fletch, name me, name me another person in Fletch. There's a reason. Like that, you know that. Gene they, Davis. Well, sure, yeah, true. <laughs> but I love Gina Davis. But I bet she never worked with him again. Yeah, I'm sure. I, I'm, I'm maybe Beverly D'Angelo is the only other adult Who's that worked ever with him? worked with him more than once. Like what, five times? Four, yeah, the National Lampoon's. Was yeah, because they even were in that remake of the kids or whatever. Yeah, the, yeah. The, other, the newest one. Yeah. But yeah, it, they make it's it a shame. Sense. He's yeah. great, but um, yeah, this is one of the few movies I can say from when I was a kid that I was like, I really liked it. And Chevy Chase was in it. Yeah. You know, but he's such a jerk to everybody. It's a shame. Like, it's too bad because I think he's great. And I mean, the, the reports are in now. This isn't like a oh, this movie didn't go as well as it could have because he was a jerk, but no, it was like, an isolated a, yeah. incident and blah, blah, blah. Everything. Yeah. Everyone he's ever worked with and everything he's ever done, like, people just 
can't stand to be around him, which is it's too bad. Which is funny because I've heard nothing about Martin is. Short and Stephen Mar- uh, Steve Martin are fantastic. Yeah, they're, they're yeah, but they're great friends. Right, they're like still like yeah. really close to apparently now. Still, yeah, like well, but not Chevy Chase. No, he's not in the in the Netflix special they did two years ago. But Kingpin of... is a comedy jam. Yeah, like again, a lot of it's not at the forefront of people's minds. People don't think about it a lot, and they often overlook it. But it's freaking hilarious yeah. like Bill Murray is amazing in that movie yeah people always forget Woody that Woody Harrelson's amazing in that movie Randy, and, and Randy Quaid Randy Quaid in both yeah he's silly uh, in that. Oh, he's... Uh, no he's not in Three Amigos I was thinking no. of uh, National Lampoon's Cryptification that's yeah. what I was thinking of he worked with Chevy Chase he worked with Chevy Chase yeah probably a couple times once, yeah <laughs> one See, he's one of the only two actors that worked with him more than once oh yeah I guess that's true yeah uh, well I'm sure there's more than that but uh, yeah yeah, no, I, I, I think Kingpin's hilarious. Yeah, it's so fucking funny. Like yeah. it's so random. Yeah, it's it's and great. The, the landlord. Oh. Well, how many times oh. have you watched that and did you heave when you record will sell that? She's like, we're gonna mouth exercises. Oh. Oh. It's like, Bleh. yeah, I totally understand. We're in the other room. We, we showed. Oh, up. it's not that bad. It's so dramatic. Or yeah, what we, 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 I was on tour uh, back last January. So a year ago, well, a year ago, January, and we one of the the band was younger than us by a lot. Never seen it, so we showed them Kingpin, and they were like, "Well, that was disturbing." Like yeah. the first five minutes of the movie, and you're like, "Yep, yeah. yes, it is." Yes. <laughs> I, I I agree with you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh it's it good. Yeah. No. So I haven't seen Three Amigos, uh, Three Amigos for way longer it, it, than Kingpin, but I'm I'm choosing that over Kingpin just because it's it's a childhood favorite, and I really should watch it again because I can't even tell you the premise of it but I, I do love King I do it's, it's not it's three not a kid film it's the, <laughs> the choice it's not a kid film no King there's Pitt a lot of not a, a, a comedy well neither is Three Amigos there's a lot of rape I'm jokes I'm not sure that's stuff. true is there a lot of rape jokes I gotta go stuff. back and watch it like I said yeah. but I'm choosing Three Amigos yeah uh, I'm definitely gonna go Three Amigos so right on well thank you so much for joining us for another edition of This or That Movies Please make sure to like and comment and share on our videos. Give us feedback. What do you think? Do you want to see a matchup? Um, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Radio Rhapsody with Coots and Tank, and our Facebook page, Radio Rhapsody with Coots and Tank. I'm Coots. And I'm Tank, and we'll see you next time, kids. Peace.